Uh, we're here, I'm here with nine members of Congress, uh, and we are here to really bring to light the state of, the current state of voting rights in America. You know, Alabama is ground zero when it comes to the fight for voting rights. It was because of Bloody Sunday that we got the Voting Rights Act of 1965. And it's because of the Shelby decision that we got um, pre-clearance taken out uh, of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. It's good to be back in Birmingham one more time. I think it's fitting and appropriate for us to be meeting here in the state of Alabama because it was here in this state just a few miles from here in Selma, in the heart of the Black Belt, I was able to dramatize the need for a voting rights act. And 51 years later, we don't have the protection for that act. I have said on many, many occasions that the vote is precious, it's almost sacred. It is the most powerful, nonviolent instrument or tool we have in a democratic society. Yeah. And all of our citizens must be able to use that vote, to cast that vote. And this state, like so many other places, including the state of Georgia, is making it harder and more difficult. So that's why we are here. So thank you again, Terry Sewell. Thank you. We now have the chair of the Congressional